हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी गो ना टॉक अबाउट एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी सो द एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी इज द एब नॉर्मल प्रेगनेंसी विच अकर्स आउटसाइड द यूटरस फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ यूटरस वजाइना सर्विक्स अ पेयर ऑफ फलोपियन ट्यूब्स एंड अ पेयर ऑफ ओवरीज इन नॉर्मल प्रेगनेंसी फर्टिलाइज एग इम प्लांट्स इन द यूटराइन लाइनिंग when the ovary ovulates and releases the egg the female egg travels through the fallopian tube and where it meets sperm cells and gets fertilized this fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube once fertilization takes place this newly formed cell will move down the fallopian tube and into the uterus this movement is facilitated by the presence of cilia in fallopian tube within uterus this embryo implants and this is the beginning of normal pregnancy comparing normal pregnancy to ectopic pregnancy fertilized egg implants in extra uterine structures that can't support its growth ectopic pregnancy occurs when the egg gets stuck on its way towards the uterus and starts developing in tube this is known as a tubal pregnancy implantation may also occur in ovary in cervix or in abdominal cavity but more than 95% cases of ectopic pregnancy occur in fallopian tube which is called tubal pregnancy with extremely rare exceptions fetus cannot survive outside the uterus without treatment growing tissue may rupture resulting in destruction of surrounding structures and a massive blood loss that could be life threatening an ectopic pregnancy is classified according to where exactly the fertilized egg implants as discussed earlier in normal pregnancy embryo implants in the uterine cavity ectopic pregnancy can be tubal or non tubal a tubal pregnancy occurs when the egg has implanted in the fallopian tube this is the fallopian tube it has many structures and the tubal pregnancies are named according to the structures in which embryo is implanted here you can see proximal funnel like part of fallopian tube this is called infundibulum it contains finger like projections called fimbria embryo gets implanted in this region this is named as a fimbrial or infundibulum ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy in fimbria is rare and occurring in only 5% of cases another tubal pregnancy occurs when embryo implants in the ampullary region of fallopian tube it is termed as ampullary ectopic pregnancy it occurs in around 80% cases and it is the most common type of ectopic pregnancy sometimes embryo can also get implanted in the distal narrow part of the fallopian tube called isthmus such type of pregnancy is called isthmic ectopic pregnancy it is seen in around 12% of all cases another type is pregnancy that occur in the cornual part of the fallopian tube it is the interstitial part of fallopian tube this pregnancy is called cornual or interstitial ectopic pregnancy it is seen in around 2% of cases on the other hand non tubal ectopic pregnancy includes abnormal pregnancies that are established in other areas including the ovary called ovarian ectopic pregnancy in the cervix which is called cervical ectopic pregnancy or in the abdominal region 
which is known as abdominal ectopic pregnancy now let's talk about causes of an ectopic pregnancy now see the cause of an ectopic pregnancy isn't always clear there are a number of risk factors for ectopic pregnancies and it includes inflammation or infection or sexually transmitted infections women with pelvic inflammatory disease that is pid have a high occurrence of ectopic pregnancy pelvic inflammatory disease also known as pelvic inflammatory disorder is an infection of the upper part of the female reproductive system namely the uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries and inside the pelvis the disease is caused by bacteria neisseria gonorrhea or chlamydia trichomatis signs and symptoms when present may include uh, lower abdominal pain vaginal discharge fever burning with urination pain with sex bleeding after sex or irregular menstruation untreated pid can result in long term complications including infertility ectopic pregnancy or chronic pelvic pain on the other hand sexually transmitted infections such as gonorrhea or chlamydia can cause inflammation in the tubes and other nearby organs and increases your risk of an ectopic pregnancy this results from the build up of scar tissue in the fallopian tubes causing damage to cilia if however both tubes were completely blocked so that sperm and egg were physically unable to meet then fertilization of the egg would naturally be impossible and neither normal pregnancy nor ectopic pregnancy could occur smoking is another important risk factor women who smoke have a higher chance of an ectopic pregnancy in the fallopian tubes now see the fertilized egg is carried to the uterus via cilia so what are cilia cilia are nothing but hair like structures located on the internal surface of the fallopian tubes smoking leads to risk factors of damaging and killing cilia fallopian cilia are sometimes seen in reduced numbers leading to a hypothesis that cilia damaged in the fallopian tube is likely to lead to an ectopic pregnancy women who smoke have a higher chance of an ectopic pregnancy in the fallopian tubes as discussed earlier as cilia degenerate the amount of time it takes for the fertilized egg to reach the uterus will increase the fertilized egg if it doesn't reach the uterus in time it will implant itself inside the fallopian tube thus causing the ectopic pregnancy tubal surgery is another risk factor surgery to correct a closed or damaged fallopian tube can increase the risk of an ectopic pregnancy previous ectopic pregnancy if you have had this type of pregnancy before you are more likely to have another use of an intrauterine device that is iud also known as intrauterine contraceptive device iucd or coil it is a small t shaped birth control device that is inserted into the uterus to prevent pregnancy a small probability of pregnancy remains after iud insertion and when it occurs there is a greater risk of ectopic pregnancy the chance of getting pregnant while using an intrauterine device is rare however if you do get pregnant with an iud in place it's more likely to be ectopic fertility treatments some research suggests that women who have in vitro fertilization or similar treatments are more likely to have an ectopic pregnancy infertility itself may also raise your risk tubal ligation over here tubal refers to the fallopian tubes and ligation means to tie off tubal ligation is a surgical procedure to prevent pregnancy 
it is a permanent method of birth control commonly known as having your tubes tied tubal ligation can predispose to ectopic pregnancy another risk factor is age the older a person is the higher the risk of an ectopic pregnancy although some investigations have known that patients may be at higher risk for ectopic pregnancy with advancing age it is believed that age is a variable which could act as a surrogate for other risk factors previous surgery having a past cesarean delivery or fibroid removal increases the risk of an ectopic pregnancy tubal surgery or intrauterine surgery for example d and c over here d and c means dilation and curettage it refers to the dilation that is widening or opening of the cervix and surgical removal of part of the lining of the uterus or contents of the uterus by scraping and scooping it is a gynecological procedure used for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes and is the most commonly used method for first trimester miscarriage or abortion d and c is may be performed in pregnant and non pregnant patients for different clinical indications dnc may be performed early in pregnancy to remove pregnancy tissue either in case of non viable pregnancy such as a missed or incomplete miscarriage or are commonly performed for the diagnosis of gynecological conditions leading to abnormal uterine bleeding it can also be used to remove the excess uterine lining in women who have conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome to remove tissue in the uterus that may be causing abnormal uterine bleeding such as endometrial polyps or uterine fibroids it can also be used to diagnose the cause of post menopausal bleeding such as in case of endometrial cancer another risk factor is damaged or irregular shaped fallopian tubes changes in the structure of a fallopian tube or an irregular structure can make it harder for eggs to travel through them this may increase the risk of an embryo implanting outside the womb rare causes like the increased length of the tube the pouch kind of structures built in the tube can also lead to ectopic pregnancy intake of oral contraceptive pills within 72 hours to avoid unwanted pregnancy without the supervision of doctor leads to ectopic pregnancy another risk factor is tuberculosis that is tb it also affects uterus and tubes leading to increase chances of ectopic pregnancy if we talk about symptoms of ectopic pregnancy then you may not notice any symptoms at first up to 10% of women with ectopic pregnancy have no symptoms and one third have no medical signs most of the time an ectopic pregnancy happens within the first few weeks of pregnancy you might not even know that you are pregnant and may not notice any problems the symptoms may include pain in the abdomen this often occurs in the low pelvis region some women will experience sharp abdominal cramps shoulder pain this can indicate internal bleeding the bleeding may irritate the phrenic nerve which causes the pain some women will experience pain in neck or rectum vaginal bleeding the blood may be lighter or darker than the fluid of menstrual period it may also be less viscous pelvic pain can also occur dizziness or weakness or pain on one side of your body and another symptom is fainting or collapse this is a medical emergency 
and can result from significant bleeding which is life threatening and can result in massive blood loss hope you will find this video informative in my upcoming video we will talk about diagnosis and treatment of ectopic pregnancy if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video have a happy learning